Hello everyone, it's Aladosaurus. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm here on another episode of Lado Learns to Race, and this time I am graced with the glory that is Mr. Longbow. Hello, Longbow. Hello. What an introduction. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, but things are going to go a little bit differently on this episode. What we're going to do is Longbow's going to talk me through the best way to build up a, a car. Uh, and then we're going to do an event and then win the Mazda RX. Is it the RX-7? Yeah. So it's it's an all-Mazda uh, it's an all Mazda um, event, so we've okay. I've decided to go for the Mazda Speed. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I was going to go for something that was D class, but uh, yeah, Longbow. The first lesson Longbow told me was just because there's not much as much PI to play with doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad car. So I know it sounds simple, it does sound simple, but I always go for extremely low PI cars and just put massive engines and build them to that. Um, to try and get them as fast as possible and it's clearly not worked for me so I will take any <laughs> any advice so um, I'm in the menu now for the custom upgrade of the uh, our, uh, Mazda MX-5 and what would you say to start with? I think generally one of the things I have to think about is kind of what tires you want to be on because generally they take up a lot of your PI. So mm -hmm. you have to think of what kind of events you're going to be doing. Like in this case, we know that we're doing a street race. Yeah. Which means it's gonna be quite straight line oriented. You probably don't need as much grip as uh, you would in perhaps another race. Mm -hmm. So you can get away with using Maybe just the stock tires, or if you want to go up one level to street tires, mm. that's probably as high as you want to go. Whereas, yeah. you know, if you were doing a team adventure or something like that, you might want to go on rally tires or something with more grip, depending right. on what kind of car that you like to drive. So, yeah, you want to. I would look at tires first. You generally look at, you know, because in this specific car, you go up to street tires, it's actually not that much PI. It's only like. 10 or so yeah but once you start getting higher up it's like you know, 30 40 maybe 50 50 pi so and you think since we're only building up to b class do you think sport yeah tire? since we're only building up uh, you not even go that i high? think sport tire might be a, i don't even think i would go that high not for something like this where it's mostly straight line because it's a street uh, racing event and those are mostly straight lines and not as much cornering. Okay. You can probably get away with just using street tires. Right, so I've got the, got the street tires on. Um, uh, would you recommend making the tires wider and the, the width wider and things like that? Generally in this game you want quite wide rear tires. Rear? Um, you generally want to go as yeah, you generally want to go as wide as you want. In this game, <laughs> in this game wide tires don't give you that much, uh, don't affect the PI as much. Mm -hmm. So, you you can generally get away with using the maximum with the rear tires, and also understeer in this game generally is kind of quick. To have a very stable car generally is quite good. So, mm -hmm. you generally want to use, and then you can sort of make a judgment call of what kind of front tires you want. In this case, it's not it's not as much PI. It's only a couple either way, so you can. You could probably get away with upgrading the fronts all the way if you wanted. All the way. Uh, and, yeah, so the benefits would obviously be better handling over top speed kind of performance parts. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if if a person w wanted to really tune this for maximum speed, they probably would just Leave them. run just the stock, stock width front tires. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, let's just, yeah. you can just go with that. No, we're good. Uh, no, I'm, I'll, I'll absolutely, no, I'm absolutely making the tyres. You know, I'm not going for massive speed because I don't think that that, especially with the PI that we've got, I don't think that's something that's really sort of with this car. Um, so no, I'm, I'm I'm more than happy to make the tyres as wide as they can be at the front. Um, would you go for track width? It as does well? mean that. Go on. Yeah, you do. You generally go for track width. It's usually not really very much PI, so you generally make it as wide as as wide as you can. 
sometimes you can affect the, the way the car handles as well this way, so okay. you could make the front end narrower and the rear end wider if you wanted the car to be more stable. Mm -hmm. But in general, you just make it as wide as possible because it only takes like one PI or so. so. Right, okay. Uh, so that's, that's the tires and track width done. Um, what would you recommend next? You generally just take a look at some of the other guys, like the transmission. Like, obviously, you put a diff in because it's free. Yeah. But you know, you you look at the transmission, you you see how much PI. In, in this case, with this car, you can try, if you take the street or sport transmission, it actually drops the PI. Huh. Even though it gives you an increase, even though it increases the performance, it's still. Uh, is less PI than what you had originally, mm. so and is less weight as well. So it's it's an easy way to get some more performance. A lot of the cars do drop or uh, have a negligible PI difference between the transmission. Mm. Having it be adjustable is generally a good thing. I mean, that's something uh, straight away that I've already been doing wrong. Um, I've whenever I get a gearbox, I always go straight to the the the, the, the biggest one, like uh, um, the race transmission, and I'll only really adjust final drive. And it's just yeah, I just so realised that's a waste. The sport of like transmission. Yeah, the sport transmission is then really all you need, right? Yeah. And a lot of times with a modern car, even in this case, it would probably be fine just to run the stock transmission. Like mm -hmm. it's. It would probably the gearing would probably be fine, but you know because you lose three pi using upgrading the transmission, you might as well upgrade it. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, right. Uh, so that, so that's the transmission and the diff. Um, what would you say is next then? In this event, we're probably not going to be using the brakes that much, mm -hmm. so you could probably get away with stock or if you wanted more braking performance put sport ones on especially since in this case they're only like 2 pi or 3 pi okay I'll just bang this um, brakes on. it depends how you if you like to tune your car then you can upgrade the, the suspension um mm -hmm. it's generally not that much pi but also in this case this is a reasonably modern car. There probably isn't going to be that much body roll, so you might even be able to get away with a stock suspension. Okay. These are the sort of things that you think about when you build a B-Class car, because a B-Class car is going to be very compromised. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to put in all the parts that you want to. You're not going to be able to run the tire compound that you want to. So you, so you kind of want to save as much PI as possible so that you can dump all of that PI into power. <laughs> <laughs> to make it as fast as possible. No, um, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're going to leave the suspension as it is. You happy, you happy with that? Yeah, yeah. but okay. yeah, and but I would generally put in the anti-roll bars at least. Oh, you put them in. Generally, you? cost nothing. Yeah, you generally yeah. put the front and rear anti-roll bars in because you can adjust the way that the car uh, reacts, hmm. uh, and it's generally no PI. Or maybe one pi for even lose a little weight doing it. Okay. Right. Generally, in this game as well, making a car as light as possible is good. Mm -hmm. So I would look at the weight reduction next. Oh right. So weight reduction is actually really a, a benefiting factor in this game. I always thought it was kind of just that, something you would put on a little bit extra. But you recommend it? I recommend it. Generally, it actually gives you a better power to weight increase than just pure power right. if you okay. do the weight and it improves everything right so it'll improve your acceleration but it'll also improve you know braking mm -hmm. cornering everything right so it's it's definitely useful in this case it's it makes it quite a bit lighter yeah uh, for 40 pi i mean it, it's a big hefty pi cost but it's yeah probably worth it so you would go all the way up to race weight pr uh, reduction? Yeah, I think I probably would. Okay. Unless I'm having really problems with, if I think it doesn't have enough power or something like that. 
Right. Um, no, I've gone for that. I'm happy with that. So we're on yeah. six six. Okay. Okay. So and then we take a look at the kind of parts that you can put on the engine. This is when you ah, so we're going for engine start thinking now. about power. Mm -hmm. So you generally the best ones you want to pick are the ones that also lose your weight. So things like the exhaust uh, is probably one of the first ones you go to because it also loses you quite a bit of weight. Right. And that, that um, takes us, that, but yeah, that, that, does, that does do alright, actually. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even, do you know what? I didn't even think of that. I always thought, start from the left and work your way up. I mean, it's it's not the worst. It, it depends on what you want, right? Because it's easy, it's hard sometimes to get it <laughs> exactly the PI that you want it to be. <laughs> uh, the intake is generally a pretty decent one, too, because it also loses your weight. Yeah, um, but, if, but if I go on to the first one, then I'm, on, I'm in A-class, and that's... that's uh, it depends on how far you are into A-class as well. Uh, 702, the first uh, street intake takes me to, because that exhaust um, okay. added on quite a bit, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so there, there are other parts that you could try, but there are also other little tricks that you can do to get the PI down once you're a little bit too far. Okay, so we'll go so, for 702 and... Okay, we can, we'll take a look at if we can re play with the PI and get it to be a little bit higher. So, I've, one of I the things you the, can do... Go on. Yeah, I'm listening. One of the things you can do is you can add heavier wheels to the car. It does add a little bit back weight, but there are many wheel designs that actually add back weight. In this case, there's not that many. There's, well, there's, uh, there's the, like the HRE of... wheels and a back about 10 pounds and then reduce the PI. Ah, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Oh, there's one, there's one there. Um, uh, cause that, that takes me then to 701. Okay. Uh, and then it depends on how close you are, but actually this car doesn't have as much flexibility in terms of the wheel size, but see if increasing the rear rim size reduces enough to get it down. Uh, it doesn't reduce at all on that, but... I'll, Unfortunately. I'll bang it up anyway because it might add to something else that doesn't quite is is it that is that okay does it does that is that how it works um like if i in, uh, in some cars it reduces in some cars it, it doesn't it hmm. does seem to depend um i mean i could I'm also bring it. the front tie width in one if that's something that you could do that be. yeah we try to do that. Off you can do that if it. Yeah. Go what you said. Um, what else? Sorry. Would you say? Sometimes I was just looking at if you add the force of rear wing to the car, just the rear wing and not the front, then it reduces the PI. But in this case, I think it actually increases it. Yeah. It adds so that's not an op that's not an option for this car. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. Mm. No. Yeah. Is the front always added? The front, yeah, pretty much universally adds PI, but the rear, it mm. sometimes reduces if you add just the rear because it thinks you're making the car really understeery. Mm. But it does add stability still, and it can add some speed. So actually, one of the things you can also do if you want to, if you want to add a little bit weight back and probably reduce it to what you want is you can add the first stage of roll cage. Yeah, that's brought me down there to are many there are many, Yeah, so there are many different things you can do. You can add some weight back or we can go back to the engine parts and, you know, go back to the second stage of exhaust and, you know, play around with the other parts, you know, and just work with all those different things mm -hmm. in order to get it up. Right. Um, the last thing you'd want to do is you know, 
if you're at 700 is, you know, you look at maybe like putting on a race drive line or, or like a street drive line just to take off a little bit. It's one of those things, you know, you just play with the PI in order to get it as close to, as close to the top as you possibly can, right? What, so you would say make it four wheel drive? Is that what you said? Sorry. When you say drive line. You know, is that drive train? Oh, when I meant drive line, I meant, I meant the, uh, the, there's like a race, there's a drive line part in the drive line, and sorry, in the drive train menu, you can add a clutch, or add a oh, transmission, or a dip. Yeah. So sometimes you can get on a first stage or a second stage or something like that and not increase PI, but I think your car is probably going to be quite close. It's got me sure. to, it's got me to sport drive line. Um, so I, I can bang that one on. Um, clutch, yeah, the, the first clutch will uh, will definitely put me over. But no. Okay. All right. So I think we're probably probably done with this car. Hmm. I guess probably ah. good. Happy days. No, I'm I'm excited to drive this. I'll bring up the tune car menu. Um, because. Mm -hmm. What I normally do is I would just this is all I will do is generally bring the uh, bring the gear in to a point where I could see all of the lines and just per, turn the arrow all the way up to corner in and that's what I would normally do with tuning. But would you not recommend that? I think it depends on what the car is doing as well. Mm. Right. What would you recommend for this? One of the things in this game that doesn't make any sense but tends to make the car quite grippy is reducing the PI and the tire, sorry, the PSI and the tires. Okay. Is for some reason in this game, reducing it to 15 generally makes it grippy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but apparently it, that's what it does. So. So you would go and take the front and rear tire pressures down to 15. Yeah, probably. It depends too what the car's doing, but you know, that's if it's on street, probably like tarmac, you'd go down to 15. Yeah, probably. Okay. No, I've done that. That's 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 awesome. Uh next one being gearing. I think it depends on the kind of event you're doing as well. So in this case, it's going to be quite high speed. So you generally want to keep that top speed to be reasonably high. Mm -hmm. You can just make a judgment call of what kind of gearing uh, you think that. So just take, do it down, take it down like a few notches or something to speed. Uh, it depends on what does it say your top speed is? Uh, one hundred and forty-eight point nine. Yeah, so that's probably fine. You probably mm -hmm. don't. You don't you probably don't need more than that if you want to shorten the gearing. Okay. It'd probably be fine too. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't do anything with alignment, um, because that's all locked. Yeah, because we. Yeah, because we didn't put in the race suspension or anything like that. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got the anti-roll bars. Would you would you mess about with them at all at the moment? It sort of depends on the way the car is handling. Right, so you, you do that needs during the drive. More front end. Yeah, you sort of go like, oh, this car could use more front end mm -hmm. uh, grip or something like that, so that you would reduce it somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah, it's sort of just feeling the car out, maybe the whatever is on the car feels great to you. So in that case, you might not want to change it at all because the car that's comfortable for you to drive is the quickest one. Okay. That makes sure, there's, sure there's sure sure there's, there's meta-tuning and stuff like that for what's quick in the game, but what really is going to be quick is what's comfortable for you to drive. Yeah. No, no, that, 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 that actually makes more sense to me than you'd think. Um, I completely get it because once you're in tune with the car, you know you you know what the car's going to do and you can predict it, uh, and then you can it gives you the confidence to go faster. Is that what kind of what you mean? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm glad I got it. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so we'll leave the anti-roll bars for a minute. Obviously, we can't do anything with the springs or the dampening or the aero or the brakes. But <laughs> the diff. <laughs> now, generally, with the think? with the no. diff, I tend I, I put the deceleration all the way down to zero. Is that something you would do, or would you not? You can get away with it. Mm -hmm. um, generally, I would probably still leave it maybe like 10 or 20. If the car is really having problems with uh, turning, then maybe I would consider dropping it down to yeah. zero. Because, um, you know, it tends to make the entry to corners, it makes it looser on entry, essentially. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for a front-wheel drive car or something like that, you might want to turn it up a little bit, if it, especially if it's a problem with a liftoff oversteer. Yeah. So, it's just something to think about, for sure. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, I've turned it down to um, about 50. Yes, yeah, so okay, and for the Excel, it's not a terribly powerful car, so you can probably leave it where it is. If it's mm -hmm. a very powerful car, you might want to turn it, turn it down to, you know, to, you know, forty percent or right, forty oh. or some. You might want to turn it down because it'll it'll make the car more stable mm -hmm. on and on exit. And if it's quite a powerful car, then uh, that's probably what you want, really. <laughs> oh. Team Ladosaurus. I like the sound of that. I like the sound mm -hmm. of Team Lado. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Racing at night. Now I can't see the corner of Apex is even worse. Uh, uh, right. Who are all these random I think, people? I think from... These are just the Drivatars. Ah. Uh -huh. They just have, they have names so that you can, I don't know. Yeah, yeah but it's... It, it used to be my friends. It used to be my friends on... Like, it used to have like Danger Man and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, for the co-op it doesn't seem to do that anymore. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. Are you on pole as well? At least not for co-op. Oh. Well, we're starting in like, I don't know. Okay. Um, so, right. right. Are you dropping back so that you can get behind me? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah. So, basically, my main plan here is to not be into... Oh. <laughs> the AI does weird things. Also, there's traffic. <laughs> and, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> And I've noticed with the AI as well is that they will sit behind you. They do. They tend not to go for a pass unless you're like really, really slow. I mean, I didn't do too badly on that one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow, that was pretty horrific. I think uh, I've seen those as well. One of us has actually got to win this, and we're already thirty percent. This is in. true. Sorry. Did you say sorry to an AI? Yeah, because I, you know, I felt <laughs> bad. I, I beat the I beat it out of the way. So, have you gone for more of a speed? I don't know how many go on. Yeah. I I I, th I honestly think you probably need to go up and catch that guy. Oh, didn't necessarily oh, well, need to. AI. No, they all crashed into the AI car, and so did I. <laughs> so, oh, uh, I'm trying to learn from what other people have told me about, you know, using the correct gear in the corners and not trying to, um, not trying to bang too far down the uh, gears too quickly, uh, and things like that. But. Uh, Generally, when you bang down gears in this game, it it redlines the car, and you don't really have to worry about damage. So, it can help reduce the speed as you get into a corner. Does it not just make the car super unstable? It does if you do it real a lot, but a little bit is actually not the worst thing to do. But you know, it's a judgment thing. There's too much; it'll make it'll it will make you lose control of the car. Mm. A little bit might help it slow down that just that little bit extra. Yeah. Uh, 
I think I'm doing pretty well for these corners. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's that, it's yeah. that bringing the um, bringing the tire PSI down that's really sort of seemed to have made a difference. And second, I mean, I feel I feel like you could have gotten gonna chase the leader a little bit, um, <laughs> but um, yeah. Because it's the, the thing is, that at least at least it is like a tournament rather than how did we win? We didn't win though. Point. Oh, is it based points. on points? Like a, like a team adventure, so we beat more. We got more points than them because oh, oh, so we don't. We finish second first. and third. You don't have to. Fin yeah, you don't have to finish first. You just have to get more points. That's really wonky because there's more of them than there are of us. So we get more points because there's less of there's less of us. Right. Right. It does give us an advantage for sure. Yeah. Um, oh, so this is is this just um, is this just like sent us to the next one without having to drive to it like normal? Yeah, because we're doing a co-op. It just it does them all at once. Oh. Oh, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> Come on, little slow Mazda. Ah. Oh! <laughs> nearly, nearly, uh, nearly beat you forward then. Go along, boat, go. Oh, that was a nice pass, kind of. They are beating the crap yeah, out of each it's... other. Oh. This, <laughs> yeah, just, I... I can see you really struggling to try and find a way through. Oh. Yeah, it does go quite a bit wonky in this mode for some reason. <laughs> they also sometimes have like an invisible sort of force field around them and it sort of shoots your car sideways. Like... <laughs> Come on. This thing just sits in fourth gear and just doesn't go any higher than. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, save it. You almost got it. You almost got it. There you go. I mean, it was a it was a relatively good save. I mean, I went into that corner. Yeah. Fucking, I just sent it. Oh, threaded through the middle. No, that was terrible. Right. <laughs> that was the worst thread ever. Now, am I fighting you now, Longbow? That thing's got some speed. That still doesn't have that much cornering. Your car is handles quite a bit better than mine. Oh yeah, I I, I did notice that before. Uh, I can come out of the corners a lot faster than you. I didn't do too badly there. Yeah, you did quite well. Honestly, lowering the p uh, the the tire pre uh, uh, tire pressure on tarmac has changed my life. Ah, oh, it's the straight on the last bit. He's got me. So right. first and second will do. Oh, oh no! There was another Mazda coming through. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, imagine if I didn't actually um, adjust my top speed as well, because we adjusted it a little bit. Um, yeah, imagine if we hadn't. Yeah, it, it depends. I don't know how how quick you were going. So. Mm. Bloody 
really but, hate the music. I hate the music. You know, <laughs> yeah, the music is terrible. You can actually put it on streamer mode, and then it, it won't play the music. I thought but I'd put it on streamer it tends mode. To, it tends to turn itself off. As well. wow. <laughs> For this some reason. so wonky. It is quite broken. Are you looking forward to Forza Motorsport 8 when it comes out? If it does. Kinda. When, whenever, it, whenever it comes out. <laughs> is that, that a lot? Is that be. a lot better for learning to drive? So, would you reckon, obviously, I'm going to get Motorsport 8 when it comes, and that that'll be much better for when I actually do come to like learn to drive properly and stuff, stuff like that. <sighs> or, or is the it more of really the same? Matters in motorsport. Yeah. The technique and learning to build cars and all those things matter a lot in motorsport. Yeah. In Horizon, the cars tend to have a lot of grip anyway, whereas in motorsport, the grip functions in a different way. So, yeah. mm -hmm. your technique is a lot more important. The technique is still important in Horizon. You still want to maximize the corners. You still want to, you know, bite in, you know, try to Put the apex as close as possible and then wide out. But mm -hmm. the, it doesn't matter as much as it does in motorsport. Right. So yeah, it'd be a big learning curve when it happens. Yeah, it definitely takes you a long time to. It takes you a long time to learn any game. To be really, really good at anything, but I think in motorsport it'll probably take a little bit longer than it does in Horizon. I mean, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still trying to learn through the wall. No. I'm coming for you, Insane Inferno 3. <laughs> How are you doing back there? I'm doing fine. It, this this is def this course is definitely for the, the the cornering aspect of it, I think. Oh well now we're on definitely on a straight uh, path. I think now now you're gonna catch up. Part of it I was I was waiting I was waiting for you as well at the, at the start. But a car there. Uh, you know, the, the street racing tends to be more speed oriented for sure. Oh, there's your opportunity. I've taken him on the inside. That wasn't a bad pass. No more Gran Turismo passes for me. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that, thing's, that thing's got some legs on it. Yeah, the V8 swap is quite good. If you is it the catch up to me when honestly I'm, is it? Did you use the V8 swap one? Nice. Yeah. I'm glad, oh, I'm so glad you did. I thought you weren't going to for a minute. But yeah, that that thing's uh that thing's got some boost. What tires do you run? It's so it's B class. So obviously you. I'm pretty sure this is. I'm pretty sure this is on stock tires. So you're yeah, you're completely probably stock except get. for a rear V8. Pretty much. Ah, okay. That's something that you can do once you get a little bit more experience in the game. Granted, when I actually drove this in an actual circuit, it was mm -hmm. not that great. But yeah, <laughs> it was a little bit too much power and not enough turning. But for something like this, where there's a lot of straights, yeah. it's kind of what you want. Right. Uh, well, I mean, it looks like we've uh, we both won the RX-7. Uh, which we easily won. See, this uh, car was just so good. I just your your car was, was just clearly it was <laughs> clearly my advice when it came to building your car was just it the is, best. It is very <laughs> much helped me, and I you know I mean at the end of the day I didn't really know how to build cars very well. I think now I've got a bit of a, an understanding. There it is, the boy. Um, but yeah, no. Um, thank you very much for joining me on this longbow. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully you'll be back for more later on down the line. 
uh, if you'd uh, if you'd be happy I to. I hope so. Oh. Well, very happy to. Oh, fantastic. Well, um, I hope you, I hope the people uh, you know watching this enjoyed it, and if they liked it, give it a like. Uh, if you feel, want to subscribe, feel free to. No pressure. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.